subscribe to the Post of Joy YouTube channel and check out our website, postofjoy.ca. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I know that. Welcome back. I'm Pastor Doug. This is our host, Rowan. Welcome to a moment of joy. Tonight we're reading from Judges. Don't forget to smash that like button. Judges chapter 20. Then all Israel, from Dan to Bathsheba, and from the land of Gilead, came together as one, assembled before the Lord in Mizpah. The leaders of all the people of the tribes of Israel took places in the assembly of God's people. 400,000 men arrived with swords. The Benjamites heard that the Israelites had gone up to Mizpah. Then the Israelites said, Tell us how this awful thing happened. So the Levite, the husband of the murdered woman, said, I and my concubine came to Gibeah in Benjamin to spend the night. During the night, the men of Gibeah came out after me, surrounded the house, intending to kill me. They raped my concubine, and she died. I took my concubine, cut her into pieces, and sent her one piece to each region of Israel's inheritance, because they committed this lewd and outrageous act in Israel. Now all of you Israelites, speak up and tell me what you have decided to do. All the men rose together as one, saying, None of us will go home. No, not one of us will return to his house. Now that this, now, but now this is what we will do to Gibeah. We'll go up against it in order to decide by casting lots. We'll take ten men out of every hundred from all the tribes of Israel, and a hundred from every thousand, and a thousand from ten thousand, to get provisions for the army. Then, when the armies arrive in Gibeah, in Benjamin, it can give them what they deserve for this outrageous act done in Israel. So all the Israelites got together and united as one against the city. The tribes of Israel sent messengers throughout the tribe of Benjamin, saying, What about this awful crime that was committed among you? Now turn those wicked men over to us, so that we may put them to death and purge the evil from Israel. But the Benjamites would not listen to their fellow Israelites. From their towns they came together at Gibeah to fight against the Israelites. At once the Benjamites mo mobilized 26,000 swordsmen from their towns, in addition to 700 able young men from those living in Gibeah. Among all these soldiers, there were 700 select troops who were left-handed, each of whom could sling a stone at a hair and not miss. Israel, apart from Benjamin, mustered 400 thousand swordsmen, all of them fit for battle. The Israelites went up to Bethel and inquired of God. They said, who of, us, who of us is to go up first against the Benjamites? The Lord replied, Judah shall go first. Do you want to stop there or do you want to keep going? Huh? I'll stop there because I found it way deep in Yes. All right. So I think that's let's we'll find out what happens in the battle tomorrow. Do you have any questions? No. Are you sure? Yeah. You understand everything that's going on. You can explain it to me. No. Well. I'm just not thinking about it. Okay. Is there any, does anybody else have any questions? No. All right. Let's pray. Dear Lord Jesus, we thank you for all that you give us. We pray that that you forgive us for our evil. We pray that we always seek your will and your face. We want to please you. This we pray in Lord Jesus Christ's name. Amen. Amen. Alright, we'll see you tomorrow evening for another moment of joy. Bye-bye.